Rise and shine, angry Joe. Rise and shine. Not to imply that Valve or you have been sleeping on the job, but no one is more deserving of a new Half-Life game than all of you. The hour has come. It is here. Our new Half-Life VR game. So wake up, angry Joe. Wake up. Did you just say VR? What? What, what are you doing with that crowbar? What the hell? Yeah, VR. What's wrong? I've been waiting all these years for a VR game! No! No! Ah! Ah! There better be some information for Half-Life 3 hidden in this game somewhere! I swear to God, G-Man! How can you do this to us? I'll kill you! Hey guys, welcome to our new Rant Review series made possible by our Patreons and our supporting members with the YouTube Join button. And uh, don't worry, this is uh, a new series, not the Angry Reviews, because we're reserving Angry Reviews this week for Doom Eternal. Uh, but yet we still wanted to cover this massive, massive release. So any games that sort of fall through the cracks that we can still get our hands on and play all the way through... Uh, is going to be a rant review, where we'll rant and rave about the game, maybe even talk about spoilers in a separate spoiler section. Uh, but let's review Half-Life Alex. Alex. The Alex, mm -hmm. this is your game. Well, no. You're super excited about it. I know oh, that. I Alex know. Vance uh, from Half-Life 2 and Half-Life Episode 1 and 2. And... Uh, this is the first time in many, many years, a uh, decade, <laughs> more than a decade, that we've uh, gotten a chance to jump into the Half-Life universe. Yeah. Now, Alex is a huge fan of Half-Life. I'm a big fan as well. Joe knows nothing about I know nothing. <laughs> He's not played any of the game. So this is good. Yet. You'll get a wide range of uh, you know opinions on what is presented here in Half Life Alex. So obviously this is a VR exclusive title. Uh, we tested this game. We got a review copy from Valve. We have a Valve Index, and we got a Oculus Rift S. Mm -hmm. uh, so we tried the game on both. Um, and I'd uh, just to let you know right away, I think Alex Half Life Alex looks best on. The Valve Index, oh, the yeah. graphics yeah. are just amazing. Wow. Yeah, loading and reloading is like really satisfying. I gotta say, this is like one of the most graphically detailed VR games ever. Oh, yeah, cock it, cock it. No fucking yeah. way. Yeah, I see the oh, bullet inside. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, it's, right there. Yeah. it's right there. Holy shit, can I pick that bullet up? Uh, point oh my point. god, I can. The detail is crazy. The field of view is much bigger and better. Nice. <laughs> it can detect my individual fingers. Flick them off. Thumbs. Oh, flick them off? Let's see. Flick off the aliens. It takes me a while. <laughs> Fuck you, aliens! Piece of shit! Um, and, but... The issue we ran into was motion sickness. Yeah, we all got motion sickness. I had to plug your playlist for like 10 more minutes. Uh, feel a little nauseous. And it's like, I've never gotten motion sick playing never. VR before. And neither of you said you've never, never gotten Never. Motion. That was Ever. my first time. And I, I, I'm like, I'm one of those, you little wuss. Well, you, you got it first. And I said, I, he, he said that. He, he was like, playing. And he's we like, dude, right, dude, I need neutral. a break. And I was like, whatever. You, 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 you baby. And I put the thing on within 45 minutes on the index. I was nauseous. Yeah. Yeah, I can see definitely getting motion sick playing this. Oh, well, I was, man. Honestly. That's why I just step out. <clears throat> And then it ruined your whole day. Yeah, ruined my <laughs> entire day. And then he said the same thing. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna try myself." And I was like, "I don't know, man. It ruined my whole day." And you put the whole thing on, and you got sick too. Uh, so I've messed with a lot of the settings. I messed with the field of view. I messed with the uh, um, the 
IPD, the you know distance between your eyes. Yeah, I've messed with everything. almost everything. Refresh I rate, everything. At re- refresh rate, exactly. Uh, the index refresh rate is much better than the Oculus Rift S. But for some reason, the Oculus Rift S was so much more comfortable and easy to play through. And so that was our preferred headset for going through. Yeah, nearly I'd the rather take uh, some of the hits on the visual side, mm-hmm. and, but I was able to play a lot longer. Mm-hmm. This is where I was getting fucking dizzy. Why? Well, throughout this whole playthrough. Oh, with with the other headset, yeah. 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 Like I'm not dizzy at all right now. Really? And I was already starting to feel dizzy with the other headset. If you have one of these uh, ocular VR setups, sure, do oh, it. Absolutely. This is a must. Absolutely. This is great. But if you don't, don't. It's not a system seller. Mm-hmm. I I I disagree a little bit. I think it is a killer app. I think it's a system seller, but not a thousand dollar system seller. I would say this is quite possibly the best VR game I have ever. No, it is the best. I agree, one hundred percent. It's it's by far the best. Uh, Valve, you know, Valve is a little insulated because you know they own Steam and they haven't had to you know give us any of the sequels to any of the games, the number three to anything that you know, uh, Half Life Three, obviously. a Team Fortress 3. No, they haven't had to do jack shit. They kind of march to their own beat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when they do something, though, they do it incredibly well. Uh, case in point, the Valve Index and Half-Life Alex. It is literally the best, uh, you know, VR game I've ever played. Um, but I wouldn't run out and buy an index for it. It's not going to be. But maybe a $400 headset mm-hmm. because there are so many other games out there now. In the I could create a top 10 list. I can create a top 20 list of games that are going to be worth it uh, when you get a headset. Mm-hmm. So, Alex, numero uno, everybody should buy Alex. If you have a headset and your headset is uh, compatible with it, you should get this game because it's that much good. Yeah, It is Fucking amazing. I've got some notes written down here. Combat is amazing. Headshots, they feel so rewarding in VR. As enemies get closer to you, you you freak out. Woo! That's a little scared. Ah! Fuck! Oh, shit! (laughs) Scared me, Joe. Like, ah! I didn't know what it was. Like, my fucking... The hairs on my... My fucking arms. Well, you're, you're facing a wide <laughs> open area, so <laughs> just don't go. Don't look at your six, because it's your PC. Okay, let me see where I'm at. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. So as, as you can see, it's very immersive. Yes, it is ridiculously <laughs> immersive, because th- this is quite simply the best VR game I've ever played. And the, the first encounter, it, it instantly feels real. There's this great buildup to the first encounter. And, you know, it, setting traps in the world suddenly becomes a real thing. Uh, you know, taking a smart approach to the combat is way more fun than just, you know, running and gunning as you do mm-hmm. in other first-person shooters. What did you guys think about the combat in Half the combat Alex. for me was very satisfying. Like using all my resources, the weapons, like switching out the clips. It, that was so f- mm-hmm. much fun. And then Joe, the cocking mags. Thank you. Clips. Switching out my Ping. mags. <laughs> <laughs> and then using the grenades and everything. I loved it so much. Uh, being able to kind of catch a crab head. Yeah. Head crab. Head, head crab. Whenever it's lunging at you, grab it as possible. <laughs> That was that was possible. You like, why don't you try it? I was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Get it off me! <laughs> Doing that, grabbing grenades in midair from the enemy, throwing it back. It was so much fun. Let's see. Yeah, actually yeah. you can. OJ. <laughs> That's perfect. Hey, you got him. Okay, that's that's really cool. <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed that we took we this were bit, long. we got this long to catch the midair. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, th that's a big thing about Half-Life Alex that it gets right. Uh, the standout uh, thing from the game is the gravity gloves. Uh, yeah. Basically, you point at an object that you want, you flick your wrist up, and it comes right to you. Look and you, you know, it, and you grab it out of the air. Yeah. You grab. And then you, you know you interact with objects. You you grab ammunition. You put ammunition in your backpack by throwing it back behind you, which you know has a little, little bit asterisk. of a failure yes. rate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might throw it back too far if you got an Oculus Rift S, where you know they don't have back tracking. If you set up your Valve Index properly with the outside in tracking with the two towers, which is annoying and shit, you won't have. Probably anywhere near as many problems, but it wasn't it wasn't game breaking no. or anything. No, like it was that. a mild annoyance. Now it might have just been that one head crab, and we'll have to see. Uh, we're at two hearts. <sighs> oh yeah, that felt good. God, this game is fucking cool, man. But, yeah, the uh, combat felt. Mm -hmm. I think the combat was really fun, and it opened up. The different enemy types were really interesting. I loved seeing the barnacles again. Like mm. in the way that the world interacts with them in VR is very different oh, than yeah, it was. The first time you get grabbed, and you, you freak like, out. You oh, fucking yeah. Freak I didn't out. know what that was. You like, start choking, shit. and you're like, oh no, what's <laughs> what's happening? So, well, oh no. I told you those barnacles. <sighs> fucking asshole. I think for the most part, combat felt excellent. I had some issues with some of the AI where they didn't feel like. They belong, like the game is so polished. This game is so beautiful and there's so much, like it's so well done. And then you have an enemy that just stands in place and you've moved on. Like you're seven rooms away and he's just firing a chain gun at a wall and you, you can hear you him. Know, uh, so you, these guys have both said that the combine AI, little suspect. Yeah. Um, it doesn't ruin the experience at all. Uh, I think the enemy AI in this, the head crabs, the, yes. the creatures, the aliens, they're all fantastic. We just wish maybe a little bit more. We were on very hard. Uh, there, there is another difficulty. Maybe we could uh, get a little bit better AI out of that, but we didn't play on that difficulty. Um, and so maybe they do get smarter. But uh, it, just the chain gun guys seem yeah. to stay in place. And you know, fire from a distance every once in a while. Sometimes they'll charge your position. Uh, the other combine I thought were just fine, but maybe wanted to look at some of the AI. But talking about you know the VR interaction, this is a game changer. Uh, scavenging in this game is yes. so much fucking fun. You open drawers, individual drawers, cabinets, lockers, freezers, thinking, everything. Freezers, refrigerators, uh, thinking everything. that something might be like, hidden there's there. There's like, no way you can open this. Holy shit. You can open it. <laughs> and not only that, but sometimes there's good shit in there. Mm -hmm. That feels so damn good. You are even encouraged to smash some supply boxes, so that's fun. Um, this game has not a lot of other VR games I see this where you grab things with one hand and it feels, you know, weightless, yes. right? This one actually gives weight to the objects where you can pick something up with one hand, but not everything can be picked up. You use two hands and you've got... You you lift it up and you're like, whoa, that's cool. And then and then some things you can't even lift. A uh, little inconsistency with the head crabs, like some of the more uh, species are are tougher species head crabs. You can't real heavy, yeah. 300, 400 pound head crabs. Can't no way. Fucking pick these <laughs> up. But having the ability to like kill something and then pick up that fucking head crab and look at it. It's yes. scary. It was. First creepy. time looking at it, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, another really kind of morbid thing is it's it's so interesting. You know, <laughs> you examine these dead bodies up close. You stick your face in their face. You jiggle them and... You know, and then you give in to some of your darker tendencies as you put the gun up to their oh. face. Well, Joe kept putting his thumb in, in the butts of it some It got of stuck. Oh, it that's got right. stuck. This guy's being weird. He's presenting. Good job, sir. Good, <laughs> good job. Oh! Oh! <laughs> My thumb is stuck in there. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wash my hands. Uh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> I was but trying you know, to move something. 
But you know, uh, so it's it's not for the the squeamish. Uh, you know, you see these dead bodies all around, the, these zombified bodies. Unfortunately, I think that they could have, and there is tension there initially mm-hmm. when you're first playing through. Uh, but as you get used to the game, there's not enough jump scares. This is one of those games where it is running on all cylinders. It is so much fun. It is so immersive that I'm like, I want a jump scare. Give me a jump scare. It doesn't give you a jump scare. No, no, no. I thought he was going to get up. They need to they need to do more jump scares. We all agree. We are we're horror, down with yeah. jump scares. This is horror the only games. time that I'm asking for it. Yeah. A- There's a few, but they're too far and few and mm-hmm. in between. Especially these dead body, you know, looking zombies. I wish one of them would get up and move. I mm-hmm. uh, you know that may not be lore accurate because you need the head crab on there maybe to, hide to the heads to move it. But you know, just do something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and because you start to ignore these dead bodies when you see them on the ground. And I don't want to ignore every anything. No. Yeah, I want it to constantly uh, be tension filled. And you have a little bit of that with the barnacles, making sure that these little their little tongues are no we're in your vicinity but i just did you guys you agree with that yeah. it's like oh, one yeah, of the first 100%. games were like we want more jump scares yeah it's exactly like that um there were like some levels that were so like tailored for me mm-hmm. it was like i was going down in a cave i'm already terrified of caves i thought like the descent mm-hmm. was gonna fucking happen but not a lot of creatures came up it's like you yeah. had a great potential right there to scare the shit out of me this would have been like it a was we wanted, yeah, yeah. you have a flashlight that's this big yeah, and you're running like, oh, around on, but nothing came out of the nothing there are levels them. where you're in complete darkness and you're using a flashlight and, yeah on that one was the perfect yeah. yeah there was a, a what looks like a hotel like an abandoned hotel and there's corpses everywhere you hear skittering everywhere i'm like thank god now we yeah, got to the horror the cool. horror part of this game i love horror like vr i think mm-hmm. vr and horror work really well together yes, in do. my opinion those are the only ones that i think if that's worked in the past and I was so ready for it and then nothing happened. Yeah. We were playing in an office building and you hear head crabs in the Skittering ceiling. In the walls and in and, the vents. And if they had dropped down one, that one time, it one happened time. one time and yeah. it was so telegraphed. It's like, come on, do it. Do mm-hmm. it a little bit more. Have something else happen because I was so immersed in the situation. They did such mm-hmm. a wonderful job building that building. We wanted and, We wanted And it's it. like, do something with it. And then... They, look, they did it. There was parts of this game that were absolutely incredible, yeah. where 100%, like a 10 out of 10 sections. But there were times where it's just like, give me a little bit yeah. more. Uh, so the, another big part of the game are the environmental puzzles. These were actually really fun and really clever. Interacting mm. with these puzzles <laughs> were, it was awesome. Mm. I see what you're saying, Joe. Yes. There's one of the four to five puzzle types that you it know, was annoying none of me. us really enjoyed. Which I one was that? The wires. Mm-hmm. Finding out the wires, like going back. But and I didn't forth. mind it as much as you it guys. Like you guys hated the it. The other ones were so much fun. I was like, all right, just keep these. It's like way. But better. I want to focus on all, how these three. 3D puzzles. You're moving yes. around an orb. You're you're getting your fucking Alex tool, and you're you're linking things mm-hmm. together, or you're avoiding certain. It actually feels like you're hacking. Mm-hmm. These are quite possibly the most fun uh, lock picking mini games of all time. Yeah, of all time. Yeah, exactly. That's so, like the whole VR thing. Utilize the, VR. Don't yeah. do the whole wire thing. I mm, think it wasn't as cool I think, as doing the other one. Yeah, I think that the, the my enjoyment of the wire thing was was dampened a little bit by the fact that when we were trying to you have to have the tool next to the wires and follow them through things. And there'd be times where they would just disappear or the game last, the mini game lasted too long where you're going three rooms down. There's a locked door. You have to turn the thing and go back again. Mm -hmm. And there's seven more things. And it just lasts a little bit too long. It it didn't bother me as much as these guys, but I will say there are times where you do feel like a fucking uh, electrician on his worst, most frustrating day, you yeah. know, and it's like mm, maybe uh, yeah, more of those other puzzles. Like, Look, I'm fun. trying to fucking fix this. Can you leave me alone for a second? <laughs> yeah. They don't really interrupt you during the puzzles, no. which is a good thing. They 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 find good pacing between the different sections, um, and that goes in my next point is that level designs. The level designs are fantastic. There are some really great claustrophobic areas yes. where <laughs> you're like you're where firing your gun at certain points is even discouraged there's that one moment where there's like uh all these gas canisters which throughout the game are your friends but in this section they're your enemies this one i don't have to worry about that's the plan get ready boys (laughs) 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 (laughs)
How gross. Did he drop anything? No. No. Whoa. He dropped a head. Oh, that could have been me, guys. Yep. <laughs> And you're like, I want to fire my gun, and you can't fire your gun. And so, well, you can if you're pro level like I am, and you kind of, <laughs> you know, fire that. But Joe, Joe didn't seem to be able it's to handle this. It's a trial and error, right? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> I thought it was safe. I don't know what Shit. happened. Test me now, huh? I got this, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold it. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? <laughs> ah, no, <finger>. <laughs> uh, Your hand. Ah, my finger. <laughs> Did your finger <laughs> fall off for real? <laughs> No. Oh. It's a magic trick. <laughs> Very clever, Joe. Oh, there was <laughs> a maybe that was me where I blew up. I don't remember. There was a great <laughs> section where he gets through the entire explosive room, but there's a barnacle and one of oh, the zombies yeah, knocked a right. gas can into the barnacle and just blew up the entire room. Yeah. And it's just like Zombie. it's great level design because yeah. like it sets up these situations like that. So it yeah. was super fun. So, I mean, I think that just about the only thing that doesn't re that doesn't work flawlessly, the way they've set this up, they've really designed the game with VR in mind, obviously it's VR yeah. exclusive. But yeah. everything feels good from from climbing the ladders to, uh, you know, loading your magazines this. to even cocking the gun. That's such a satisfying thing. And there's many different guns that you cock in different ways. Uh, nice. There's even an upgrade like mechanic now. as you start to level up and you, you search for resin. So these collectibles in Half-Life Alex are fantastic because you're mm -hmm. always searching for pieces of resin mm -hmm. that you can trade in as currency to upgrade your guns. Did you like the gun upgrades? I love the gun upgrades. Mm -hmm. What was the gun we used a lot? Oh, the the combine rifle. That one, you do the upgrade for uh, more mag. E extended yeah. mag. Extended mag. Bam, that's the best gun you have yeah. right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the about the only thing that doesn't work flawlessly is sometimes the crouching. Unless you're using a room level VR system like the Valve Index, and you've you've Mountain done all the thing. mountain and put holes in your walls and stuff, um, then in that case it's fine. Uh, but all you have to really do is just get up to the little mantle or the wall and bit. press That's forward. Trouble. So it's not an issue, but it's like you know. It wants that compromise between do you have your full room set up or do you have just, you know, are you sitting in a chair? But there is a way around it using the thumbstick. Um, yeah. So uh, it's in, what sections did you really like in the game? Oh, my favorite was probably like the zoo level. Yes. And there it looks it kind of looks like a junkyard type. Um, it's like when these we get new enemy types in there that you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. And it's the level design was perfect. It's set up really interesting ways for combat where you get to be creative and you can't just run out and run and gun because you have nope. seven bullets and a shotgun shell and you really need to use your environment. You need to use other enemies to fight other enemies. And it was it was a really th – those are my two favorite parts. Yeah. Uh, it, it is a shame then because those were my favorite parts as well. Just the, the opening of the game, the setup – just I love being in the world of Half-Life again and and being in such a real kind of stupid combine having that texture that tactile my face. feeling when you know the controllers are rumbling when yeah. you're when you're touching stuff and then you're actually seeing the characters that you know you've known nostalgic for in front of you I lean in and I check out all the detail on people's faces all right man <laughs> You're a good friend, okay? You type on your computer, and I'm going to go do the hard work. You bastard! <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. He that reacted. was. Stop it. <laughs> you know what? I never liked your China. Ooh. I was just kidding. He's going to piss. I was just kidding. He's going to get all <laughs> piss. And it's an amazing uh, virtual reality uh, world to be in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got some really great levels. I just think that the last section, they stumble. Yeah. This, the, the section right before, you know, the supposed climax, um, you know, I'll just refer to as, uh, you know, green and grenades, you mm -hmm. know. And that section there was sort of poorly 
planned out. Um, it just felt like they were rushing, like, okay, fuck. Close really this say, thing up. Let's finish let's, it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, right? You know, it's not, not a satisfying sort of boss battle or anything like that. It's just... Uh, there was at one point where I even fucking broke the level. You I fell, fell out of the fucking <laughs> level. Uh, 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 don't think they finished their game. <laughs> Wait, you're not dead? No. Well, that sucks. Can you fly? Oh my god. Yeah, so and that and, and but by the way, that's the only time this game ever broke. Uh, you know, it, it, there's a, some occasional jankiness here, mm -hmm. but that could be attributed to our hardware, our setup, our play space was a very very small, so uh let you know it works perfectly fine in very small spaces. Yeah, stand up you might only. have mm -hmm. uh, have uh, some jankiness here and there, but full play spaces you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so just a, a, a light stumble there towards the end. But now let's talk about the story. As huge uh, Half-Life fans, me and Alex, and the story See, as a first, person since who obviously it'll be a lot played. shorter because I've never played. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, the story was pretty average. Um, it wasn't very compelling. The only reason I went like forward is like for the whole gun play and everything. Mm. I was expecting, all right, this guy's evil or some boss or something. It's like, I got to stop him. Yeah. Why wasn't it compelling uh, I just, for you? I just you like, don't know hey, who any of these people are. That, I, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. there's a like, cigar. Right, go stop this. Go uh, power down this. It's, like, it's just a whole bunch of things that I needed to do. I was like, sure, I'll do them. But I wasn't really... You didn't feel like the world. No, you I know, wasn't. Like, I didn't feel like there were no stakes for me. I have to do this me. for the human resistance. No, I needed that, but it, it wasn't there for me. But mm -hmm. I, again, I'd never played any of the other ones. Right. So Yeah, that's probably that's pretty typical add. of everybody's experience playing this. Now, realize that, you know, Half-Life 2 and Episode 2 came out quite a while ago. Uh, more more than a decade ago, something like 15 years. I, I don't mm. even know how long. Um, and a lot of people playing the game now may not have the context. So um, the story might be a little weak for you if mm -hmm. you have not played in the universe before. But Alex, somebody who adores the universe. I think that they they, they kind of played it a little bit safe as far as like the story start to finish. The You know who the bad guys are in the beginning. They don't change. You know where you have to go in the beginning. doesn't change. You literally the opening of the opening, opening sequence, you find out this is where you start, this is where it's going to end, this is what the story's going to end, and nothing evolves from there. You just, yeah, nothing evolves from there. I mean, there's some, there's some things, there's some revelations that they have to do because they have to tell something. So, this is a just so you know, uh, it's a prequel. Yeah, it's a prequel to Half Life Two. So we we they can't do something cr totally crazy with, with things, but. I didn't mind the story. I thought it was kind of average. I've definitely played worse games. I mean, I the the drive to finish the game was just like like you said, get to the next area, find mm -hmm. the new puzzles, experience the game for what it is. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this isn't this isn't going to win any writing awards for yeah. best story. Yeah. Um I think I like the story better than both of these guys, so I'm probably on the best end. He's middle, Joe, you know, just an average thing. I do think it takes risks with the story. Uh, it, it basically, um, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil it for you. Mm -hmm. I do think it takes certain risks. It changes certain things around, and it's like, oh, where, where are they going next? It does set up. Uh, you know, that this is probably not the last we're going to see of the Half-Life universe. Mm -hmm. That makes me excited that Valve is getting excited about Half-Life again. This could lead to great things. Now, I agree, though, with them in the sense that it doesn't take enough risks in uh, sort of locations. Uh, you know, in hell, in the original Half-Life that came out in the 2000s, we were teleported in the first 10 minutes of the game <laughs> yeah. to an alien, you know, universe or something like that. I kept I kept expecting to see something, you know, take advantage of the fact that we are in these virtual worlds and it doesn't just have to be City 16. But no, it's fairly straightforward within that regard. Um, and so I see what you're saying. That not, not too many risks are taken on that end. Um, most of the enemy types we have seen already, if not all of the enemy types we've seen already, I was hoping for maybe one or two really different things that they have not. Now, because it is a prequel, 
you're thinking, well, Joe, and they can't do that because in Half-Life 2, those things didn't show up or something. Well, my thing to you then is where what are the where are these gravity gloves come from why we never see those mm-hmm. again another thing is uh in one of the half-life one cutscenes towards the end when you're teleported to another area you do see enemies and one on a c- conveyor belt like combine crabs and things like this that never showed up in the action that was never fully finished and never showed up in the actual games that they could have used in this game mm-hmm. you're not going to get a lot of that um but what you are going to get is everything that you know and it's love lovingly fucking crap Crafted in the highest quality detail at the highest immersion level possible. And frankly, the best VR game out there. If there's one game that you play on VR, it's Half-Life Alex, in my opinion. It is that immersive. It is that well, highly crafted. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, only a company like this, Valve, could make it. It feels like... This is kind of what Blizzard oh should be God. for the VR world, that you know, and, and for sweet. Blizzard in, in their world. But now they're a shell of their former selves. Right. And it feels like this could be the beginning of, you know, Valve showing people how it's done Pause. in the VR world. Mm. Okay, we just checked to see if the cameras were still yeah. rolling. They were good. Good call. But they they were rolling. Okay, cool. So basically I was just. Uh, gushing about the game because yeah. I think it's fucking amazing and it's it fantastic. Is. And even though we have small nags here and there, 25% of the puzzles aren't good. The combine AI needs a little help. And the There's story could be better for people who ha- haven't yeah. been in the fa- Half Life universe. <laughs> but I think this game rises above all of that. So let's just go to our final verdicts okay. on this. Kind of have to, Alex. No, don't pull that to you. Don't. Oh, God. Alex? Alex, you still there? Oh, t- <laughs> Let's start with the person who hasn't played uh, any of the Half-Life games. For me, uh, it's going to be some of my nitpicks and shit like that, obviously. Uh, the AI, I wish they would have done a l- some more tactics, flanking, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. The story was average. I'm personally not going to remember the story. The story. I'm going to remember the combat for sure. Mm-hmm. All in a day's work. <laughs> Let's crank this baby up. See what we got. Any troublemakers in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that you <laughs> could do that. Oh, shit. That's breathing. Y'all see that? Um. No, fuck that shit. I'm going back. No, no. <laughs> no, fuck that. <laughs> uh, the puzzle. Like I said, I didn't like that one too much. And another one is a price for me. If you don't have the VR setup already. This is a full priced uh, game. Yeah. And and I wanted to point out this one thing we forgot that this one's being advertised as a full story. This is not a tech demo. This is not a little bite sized thing. We played this for it. I've on there. I have recorded 32 hours, but I left the headset on one time. So it's really around 20 hours, 22 if you really yeah. want to take your time. Yeah. Well, all those being said, I'm still going to give this an eight out of ten. I had a lot of fun with this. There were some great tensions. Mm-hmm. They should have done more with it. But overall, I had a great time. Okay. Yeah. Eight. Eight out of ten. <laughs> Alex. I, I, I agree with you on a, on a lot of things. I think that this was the kind of game that I've been waiting for in VR. And that's someone I have not spoken highly of VR. I have not played a VR game that made me want to go out. And I fortunately I always have friends who have VR equipment. And every mm-hmm. time I play one of the games, it's like, not yet. That's not yeah. for me. This was the kind of game that Valve is committed they're going to continue to yep. do things like this. If other game manufacturers see this and say, we are going to make games of this caliber where the VR is not a gimmick. It's not just, oh, you can do different things because it's VR, but yeah. it's like built into the experience and maybe probably VR exclusives. Mm-hmm. When we get that announcement, I'm going to tell everyone to go out and buy VR because this was an amazing experience. Yeah. Um, I had some issues with random bits and pieces here and there. Yep. Uh, I really hated getting sick the first day, but we fortunately we only played for a little bit, so that didn't But we ruin. figured out the problem. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't uh, play any more that f- for, for that day. Um, so I think, I, I think there's a lot to, to love about this game. So I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 as well. I think oh. I really liked it. I think it's the best VR game no. I've ever... You guys, uh, okay, are you guys rating the game as it, it, it's a game amongst all games? Yes, or are you it's a rating game amongst it, uh, all games. What would you rate it as a VR game? It's a bet, it's, you would compare if every this single was, If VR. we were just doing VR games, would it be a 10 out of 10? Yeah, for sure. This is the Terminator 2 of, 10 of 10 uh, there, video yeah. games. Yeah. Joe, is, is it your favorite VR game? Is it a 10 out of 10 VR game? So far, yes. 
Okay. This is like full, but, but you're like but in, in terms of comparing it with everything else, which to be fair, you know, Half Life Alex is saying, hey, we are a full fledged video game. You can compare us with other games, yeah. and y'all are in the go. eight range. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's I a- got you. Now that makes a little more sense mm-hmm. because to me, I'm fucking blown away by this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I uh, this is the first of the games that I would say might be worth going out and getting a headset. The cheaper now, one. The cheaper <laughs> one. A thousand dollars. I can't, in good conscience, yeah. tell anybody to go out and get it for a thousand dollars. Now, if you're an enthusiast and you got money, then do it because that's going to be the best headset for for mm-hmm. this game. For sure. But if you but for four hundred dollars, something like that on the Oculus Rift S or uh, a headset and of that caliber. I would consider it. I really would because this is quite possibly no. It is the best VR game I've ever played. Yes. So yeah, I, in that, that sense, I would give it a ten out of ten. But if we were rating it amongst other games, I think I am a little more kind to it uh, than you guys. I think it's a nine out of ten. It is. Uh, I just had really no complaints whatsoever. I think the AI can be taken care of if we go up to the highest difficulty. I do wish more risks were taken in the locations that we were presented and a little bit in that that final section that, that felt more like, hey, strong. here's some grenades and then we moving on and let's go, right? <laughs> uh, I was hoping for a little bit more epic uh, conclusion. Uh, but I do think it takes uh, risks with its story. Where it's going, I'm not sure I want. But I'm I'm down for anything uh, in the Half Life universe if we can come back here and if this does well, does this encourage Valve to make a Half Life three? <laughs> this is the big question. Uh, or are they going to continue down along this path of VR only Half Life exclusives? Where you've got to buy a VR headset to continue these, you know, like say Half Life <laughs> no. Two Episode Three, which we have still yet to see, right? Um, I don't know, but uh, I I think the future is bright for VR. In in my in my sense, this is the best game in Phase Two of VR. If Phase One was the experimentation and the first Rift, uh, uh, Oculus Rift, the CV One, CV Two. That kind of stuff. And now we're in phase two with the Oculus Quest going wireless. You know, uh, this game cannot be handled on the co- Oculus Quest. You would have to get, uh, you'd have to boost its power by plugging it into a PC. But even then, Half Life Alex is not going to be running at full capacity. You want to be doing this on the index, the index or the Rift S. It looks so good on the it, index. It on the does. index, it blows us away. I mean, we have tried several times against our better nature. To force ourselves to play it through on All the right, Valve Index. Minutes, I took a Dramamine minutes. and played on the Index because I was See? like, man, this looks incredible. But the, for the controller's some reason, different. It's it just, just, we God, can't God, figure God, it out. Through. And that just may be the way it is. Yeah, and we have to uh, strengthen our oh, sea legs, so to speak, in VR. <laughs> and maybe we can get over that hump. But know that if you have no problems with motion sickness, you're going to have a problem yeah. with motion sickness like us on the Valve Index in Half Life, Alex. But not on the Oculus Rift S, at least at least in our experience. So nine out of ten, in my opinion, ten out of ten. If you're talking yes. about amongst all VR games, any top list that I compose, you can pretty much guarantee this is number one on the fucking list. So I liked it that much, guys. If you want to stick around and uh, we'll talk about the spoilers here section, we can do that. Um, if not, please click off now. I would say. Go out and play this one. Experience it for yourself. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys.